Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about the Christmas market in Frankfurt, Germany. Welcome to all of you that are new here to my channel. My name is Haley. I am a travel vlogger and I work in the hotel industry, been in the hospitality world for over 15 years. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe over here and like and follow on social media channels. Love to help you and please don't forget to drop questions below. This is my very first Christmas market ever, let alone in Germany. Germany is known for these. This is a bucket list destination for a lot of people. So excited to be here. The Frankfurt Christmas market actually dates back to the late 1300s. It is beautiful. You'll see the half-timbered houses here behind me. They are gorgeous, but they're actually not original because a lot of Frankfurt was destroyed during World War II there at the end. But they redid it. It looks beautiful. I can't even explain the feeling that you have when you walk through a Christmas market. It is just that pure childhood Christmas joy. So let's look around. Now the main part of the Frankfurt Christmas market is actually situated near the Frankfurt Cathedral. It's really cute. You can walk in for free. So I highly recommend checking this area out as well as getting a piece of cake here. So we walked from here right down into the market. The houses are so beautiful over here, so great photo op. And as you get closer, you start to see some of the carts that are lit up, that have the glue vine out. You can see it just down the walkway here. And this is how you know Christmas is near. Now keep in mind, if you are visiting a German Christmas market, you need to have cash on hand. A lot of these booths are cash only. So whatever you're thinking about bringing, I would say double it. Gluevine! Jeffrey's first Gluevine experience. Nope, are you not a Gluevine fan, Jeffrey? <laughs> I'm very afraid now. I don't know. No, I don't think it's that bad. It is very like Christmas in your mouth though. Mm. All right, round two for Jeffrey. That's good. That's good. Another thing to keep in mind is you don't have to worry about speaking German. However, a lot of the menus here we did find were in German only. So make sure you download Google Translate. Oh. Jeffrey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Corn. <laughs> Nothing corn. says German Christmas market like a burrito, taco, and nachos. Potato pancake. <laughs> well, that was better than your glue vine reaction. What kind of sauce is it? Garlic. Mm. Yes, yes. After this, we walk down by the river. Another thing to keep in mind is that the market isn't in just one spot. The markets tend to stretch all over different parts of the city. So make sure you check out the Christmas market website. Now there is a happy man. So these are really, really good. Like the bread. I almost love the bread a little bit more than the meat. I mean, the meat's great. It's right over a fire, but the bread is. Chef's kiss. Needless to say, if you are a carnivore, German Christmas markets are going to be your heaven. There are so many different types of sausages and cured meats all over that are filtered in between the local artisans. Now keep in mind, like I said earlier, this market is spread out over different parts of the city. It kind of connects a little bit. It's a little different from Cologne that has actual different spots, but there's just little pathways that lead to that main 
area. And this was actually the first night of the Frankfurt Christmas Market last week at the time of this video being posted. So there was a tree lighting that was going on. So while we took a break from the Christmas markets, we went over to the main tower. It is nine euros to go up. You can buy a head online and I highly recommend doing this. It is an absolutely stunning view. So do not miss out. And I recommend going near sunset kind of like we did. Now remember, like I said, Frankfurt was kind of blown up. So that's why it looks a little more modern. They also call it Manhattan. So as we made our way back towards the Christmas markets, we ran into this portion and we sat in this little Christmas hut. Um, there was a lot of music and noise, so sorry that you did not get the full taste test here, but currywurst, bratwurst is a very popular Christmas market dish. Jeff and I both really, really loved it, so make sure you try some of this on your Christmas market visit, be it here in Frankfurt or any other Christmas market. There were so many little rides for young kids. I could recommend this Christmas market for people of all ages and really just the Christmas market scene in general. Your favorite. Little train ride for the kiddos. So even though some of this stuff is a little repetitive, the lights just make me happy. So the, the nuts are very, very popular. Like I said, this was the first night. So we were in the process of making our way back down to the ROM area where we were to begin with for the tree lighting. Along the way, they had different bar setups like this one right here with music. Another thing to talk about is the restrooms. They do cost, but they're super clean. Nom, 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 nom. Look at that hot steam.